What's going on guys? My name is Katsune and today we're going to be doing our famous classic battle pass ranking video. So you know how these work? If not, I'm going to re-explain it. Uh, we are going to rank the battle pass from worst to best, in my opinion of course. Uh, you do not have to be, or don't have to, you don't have to agree with me, but of course uh, if you do, that'd be nice. And if you don't, uh, argue about it in the comments. Uh, I hope you like the video and subscribe as it means a lot to the channel and I can continue to make these videos for you and uh, one added thing uh, we're gonna try something a little different it's at the end I'm going to give it a rating out of 10 in general not skin just battle pass in general and uh, yeah so with that out of the way let's get into it so number eight being my least favorite uh, might trigger some people it is going to be Sabina so Sabina has well a few styles you have this style you also have a weird ponytail and sunglass style and your burning ember red and gold style a uh, person like this version or at least color wise I like the more black pinkish purple type of coloring and uh, yeah so uh, the reason this is my least favorite skin now the one thing I like is I like the coloring on both the styles I think the purple or pinkish and black is cool and I do like the combo of red and gold but other than that I just don't really care for the skin I feel like it doesn't really fit the theme well sure it is kind of like it does give off kind of summer vibes but it's very like vamp it definitely reminds me of like a vampire almost kind of like dusk maybe it just looks like a very like vampiric skin to me and I don't really care for her like cosmetics that much I think your sword's cool but other than that uh nothing too crazy uh you know I, I just don't think the skin's that great in terms of design as well as cosmetics and i just feel like it's a little out of place here i feel like it might fit more in like a halloween season but for summer uh not so much so number eight goes to sabina moving on to number seven i know this one will definitely angry or anger people but i honestly don't care uh this is going to be malik so let me get this uh, out of the way. I do like the armor. The armor is really cool. I like the cape. And the cosmetics are absolutely fire. The cosmetics are so cool. The emote, the sword, the glider. Honestly, all of his stuff is really cool. Here's the reason I did not rank him too high. Reason number one. This is my main reason. I, um, I hate those stupid, pimped out glasses. It just... Oh, God. It, like... They took, they completely just like ruins the medieval theme. It just looks like some like dude in like, like the alleyway. I don't know. Like, it just looks like some like teenager high school guy. And yeah, like, what's with the sunglasses? I know you can remove them uh, when you get the skin, but still, even with that, I don't know. It just, it does not look like, it just doesn't look like a knight. It doesn't remind me of anything medieval. And, it kind of just ruins the vibe of the skin, to put it lightly. Also, I feel like the clothes don't match the skin either. The, again, armor and cape is cool. But yeah, it just really, like, they tried to mix two separate skins here. Now, I was like, if this was, like, a separate style to an already existing skin, I'd be fine with it. But yeah, all I really need, feel like he needs is just some extra armor. Like, his colors are cool. I, I just think he really needs some extra armor. And like a style for like a helmet or this shield or not the shield, this spray shows like a fiery head type shape. I think that'd be really cool if he has like a flaming head. I think that'd really make the skin a lot better. But yeah, unfortunately, number seven goes to Malik. He also has a blue style, by the way, before we move on to the next one. And I believe he has a black and gold one. I actually do like this version, but again, he needs a helmet. Moving on to number six spot. Uh, unfortunately, this might anger a few people again. Uh, and I, had to, but this was not a matter of liking him less than other skins. This was more liking other skins more than him. Here we get into more of the good skins. This is going to be our boy Indiana Jones. He is the secret skin of the season. And so I'll start with what I like about him. He's Indiana Jones. So what's not like to like about him? You know, I do. I I am a fan of the Indiana Jones movies. Uh, he is he does look really cool you know fits as well doesn't really fit the vibe of the season but you know here he's a nice addition to have you know I, it fits like 
archaeological like theming if we ever have like another like exploring season kind of like season eight so the reason he is a bit lower is for three reasons one he is a secret skin now this is not a problem with him itself it just I really miss the original secret skins and they did so well with bringing them back with cube queen and then foundation I know he's technically not uh, original but I count him he's an original storyline character so but then we went back to secret skins with prowler and Indiana Jones and I just wanted there to you know be like I'm fine with two collabs in the battle pass just like save the secret skin as its own original thing uh, second thing it does not really fit this season I would say it is a good addition but like it just it doesn't really fit the whole vibing summer theme Although, I guess it does fit, like, exploring maybe the reality tree. So, it gets a bit of a pass there. And then the other thing is, the design, again, is a little basic, I would say. Now, if it was anything else, that'd just be really absurd. But you, you can't ignore ignore the facts that it's a little basic compared to the other skins. So, number six goes to Indiana Jones. Number five what goes to one of our earlier skins is going to be Adira. Also, tell me in the comments, is it pronounced Adira or Adrira? I cannot tell. I think it's Adira. So, she's pretty cool. She has a black and purple, uh, like, design. Pretty sleek. And then you have, like, a bluish and pink yellow style. This one's not my favorite. Just looks too, you know, I guess, what, hip-hop. Kind of fits the vibe a little too much, if you know what I'm saying. And I'm pretty sure she also gets some bonus armor. Yep, there we go. And then it doesn't show yet, but she does get a drift like half mask. So this skin is pretty cool. I do like the sleek black and purple design. Uh, black and purple is one of my favorite color combos, and it just fits it really well. I also like the red and gold touchings, you know. A really cool skin. And I do like the half mask. It looks cool. Kind of reminds me of Dragon. Speaking of Dragon, amazing cosmetics, great emote, great glider. Just great pickaxe itself there's a really great cosmetics kind of like Malik but the reason why she's a little lower is cuz I feel like she's missing something I know she's gonna get half mass but again for like a ultimate like dragon wielding character I feel like I don't know maybe a helmet or maybe she becomes part dragon I don't know I feel like her skin is just missing a little flare uh, but other than that it's pretty nice I just not a big fan of like the blue and pink style I feel like that style can be replaced with something else and I uh, yeah so uh, number five goes to Adira now number four goes to let's find them there we go Stormfarer now my opinion very underrated skin you know I just feel like uh, people kind of take them for granted this <laughs> but no I, I actually do like the skin so we got this style Definitely reminds me of both Raptor skin, and if you ever played uh, Fallout New Vegas, or I, I think that was the game he was in, I forgot which one, but you got uh, Joshua, what was it, Graham? Graham? Man, it's been so long, but uh, yeah, so you got, uh, he kind of looks like that. You also have this really cool style, where he becomes literally like a hazmat gas mask type. You know, just, it looks really cool. And then of course, you gotta love the Blackout version. He just becomes all sleek like a ninja. And then the final one, you got that cool, sleek IO guard look. And this is probably my favorite. It just looks so cool. And yeah. Now, his cosmetics are a little weak. I do like his pickaxe, however, and his cape. And his storyline seems cool. Talking about, like, controlling the storm. You know, that, that seems pretty cool. Uh, but yeah. So, I actually am a big fan of uh, the Stormfarer here. And I do think he could, you know, lose a little more stuff, I would say. I feel like he's missing out on good cosmetics aside from his pickaxe and backling. Maybe, like, definitely a better glider. Because that seems really, like, basic. And I just, I just kind of feel like it missed out on something cool. Uh, but, yeah. Number four goes to Stormfarer. Final top three. Uh, this one was a bit hard. Number three goes to our customizable skin this season, uh, Snap. Uh, snap as I said is customizable very customizable in fact we actually only have a small portion of what we can upgrade them to so right now of course we have the bone head you have all the other mini heads you know 
uh, then eventually you'll get more heads. You got also some arms, and we'll get more arms and legs, and then eventually two more body stuff. But yeah, I do really like Snap. Uh, I feel like um, I like the way they use him. I really miss the customizable skins. Of, like we, ha I feel like we haven't had this one or a one like so customizable since Chimera. I still won't say it's as customizable as uh, Chimera, but it's still quite close. I would say definitely closer than Toon Fish Stick. The thing with uh, Fish Stick was it was really just like colors that were customizable. It wasn't really the skin itself, and I feel like that was kind of just bland. And then uh, after that, what Haven? The masks weren't even customizable at all. And then uh, the Omni Blade was cool, but I honestly prefer, you know, customizable skins. Uh, and yeah, so this guy, uh, he's pretty cool. This is my current one. Uh, I really like this version. Kind of reminds me of like an evil general robot type thing. And yeah, hopefully there's some more cool ones down the line. You could just make any funny or just creepy abomination as you want. And then like that. So number three, good snap. Number two goes to our girl Evie as the tier one. Let's see if we can find her. There she is. So she has her classic red pants, uh, Nintendo Switch wristband colorings with their sunglasses. Uh, you also have the Syndicate Couture. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Is it Couture or Couture? I, I can't tell. But yeah, this looks cool. And you also got a little cat face. I like that. And later on, you have... Of course, the... Wait, no. Is that later in the pass? Yep, there we go. You have the Neon Couture, which I really like. The, the bluish pink. Very, like, a hypnotic, almost. I do like that blue and pink coloring. Or at least blue and, like, magenta-type coloring. Purplish. But, yeah. So, I like Evie because she definitely fits, like, the vibe of the season, you know? Which is literally vibing. Or summer, you know, relaxation. She definitely reminds me of that. Also, I forgot to mention, uh, she will be getting a bonus a style soon. Uh, basically, it'll just be this style, but with blue pants. And I think it also comes with blue sunglasses. Uh, if not, just blue pants. But yeah, uh, yeah. I also like the Nintendo Switch coloring. And yeah, very clean skin. I really like all three of the styles, or soon four. I like her uh, backstory. Peace Syndicate sounds really interesting. I hope we see more of them. And, uh, yeah, so very clean, very cool skin, and fits the theme. Uh, that's why she, Evie is number two. And number one. Now, normally, number ones are not my collabs. Again, although I am fine with collabs now, I definitely prefer original skins most of the time. But for this one, got to make, make an exception. Vader, number one. I don't think anyone should disagree with me, all right? No one... Unless you're not a Star Wars fan, you should probably agree with me. Again, although that's just my opinion. Very cool skin. Love all the details. You got the little buttons. You got the lightsaber. This is the only style we have of him right now. Uh, but he might get more. Some people are thinking he might get like a white style. Like in the comics. Or maybe even an Anakin style. Uh, I don't know. But still, a very cool skin. And uh, yeah. So basically... Uh, the reason this is my favorite, I have to admit, there's a little bit of just character in general. Darth Vader is probably my favorite villain in just in general. Like, he, he's definitely up there. It's some of my favorite franchise villains. You know, I, I've always loved Darth Vader for a long time. He's just so cool. And, uh, yeah, he, he's definitely my favorite Star Wars character. Maybe even Disney character, if you count him one. And yeah, so Darth Vader is so cool to finally have him. And I'm glad he got the tier 100 position. And yeah. Uh, only bad thing. Well, there's really nothing bad about Vader. I guess the only thing is he's a collab. as, But like really I can, I can make an exception for that now. And again, I've gotten used to collabs in Battle Pass. So that, it's not like they're going to change. And yeah, so number one goes to Vader. So thank you everyone. I hope you enjoyed. And for our ranking, uh, let's give it a... I would say a solid... 7.5 out of 10, maybe 8, maybe 8, I w you know what, 7.9 out of 10, the skins are very cool, I just feel like they are not as cool as it has been the past few seasons, and yeah, so thank you for watching, I hope you all enjoy the video, give a like if you appreciate it, and don't forget to subscribe, and with that, see you next time, Bye bye